I've been doing a lot more hand woodworking lately, uh, partly just to take a break from some of the electronics projects, and partly because I really enjoy the, uh, the use of hand tools, especially things like chisels. And uh, my wife, uh, who's an artist, tells me that she gets kind of the same pleasure from the feel of uh, oil paint on canvas that I do from a chisel on fine wood. This is certainly not fine wood. This is just a piece of cedar I'm using to illustrate something. What I wanted to do was to build some uh, bench hooks. Now, I've built these before a variety of different ways, but I uh, saw a video on YouTube uh, by Roy Underhill that he did at the Lee Nielsen Works. Uh, about a quarter of a million people have seen it, so you may already have, be ahead of me. But basically, the way he did it is shown here. That is, he uh, drew lines across a piece of wood about two inches thick. And, and this is just a model. I don't plan to use this as a bench hook, just to show you how he did it. And I refer you to that video if you want more details. And then you draw a line up here, which goes all the way to this end. The same way here, you cut down and you have a line that runs all the way to this end. The purpose being that what you wind up with is a little bit less than a 90 degree angle between the bed of the uh, bench hook and the, uh, the end so that it actually hooks the wood. In other words, it, it presses more at the top of the board than at the bottom. And once again, I'll let you uh, look at that. But it, uh, it occurred to me that this is an, a pretty good waste of, of good wood, uh, in my opinion. And knowing at least what I've read about glues and from my own experience, the grain, this this uh, grain here, is is fairly weak. It's the weakest part of the wood, and yet when you put a piece of wood in here and pounding against it with a chisel and hammer, uh, that it, we might wind up breaking off this piece, and Roy even talked about that in the video. Well, glue is stronger than wood, at least the modern aliphatic resin glues. So it occurred to me that why build it this way? Why not take a piece of wood, cut a slight angle on a piece of that wood, and just glue it? In other words, uh, let, let me show you with another piece of wood over here. Here's a piece of red oak that I have uh, left over from a project. Uh, so my idea is to cut some pieces off the end of this with a slight bevel uh, and I'll show you that when, I, when I've done it. Two pieces, and then cut this piece in half and glue one piece to one end and one piece to the other. And that should make a, a nice uh, bench hook. So uh, let me try doing that and see how they turn out. Now, I won't, the final proof on these will come out when I use them for a while. Uh, but for right now, I'm just kind of making this preliminary video to, uh, to show what I'm doing. Okay, I haven't glued these up yet, and you probably can't see it, but one of these edges is, is uh, 90 to the surface. The other is a slight bevel, 3 degrees. And uh, in other words, from here you come up and go across, you get 90 degrees. Then when you go down here, you get uh, a bit of a bevel. I'll exaggerate it like that. The purpose is, if you put the top of that bevel where it will catch the wood, in other words, here, so that when you put a piece of wood into this bench dog, or this uh, bench hook, it will catch more at the top than at the bottom. And that's sort of a traditional way of making bench hooks. So now what I'm going to do is glue these up. I think I'm also going to, uh, in addition to one set that uh, is made from red oak, I'm going to probably make one set from poplar. Uh, Roy, I think, used ash. I'm not going to go to that extent. 
oh, I, I just want something that's sort of utilitarian around the uh, around the workshop here for small projects that where you want to do some fairly fine uh, chisel or saw work. So anyway, I'll glue these up and then in a day or so I'll try them out. And here they are glued up. So the proof will be in the pudding. By the way, in case you wondered why I made such small uh, bench hooks, it's because these are actually intended for small projects for small hands, uh, if you know what I mean, and to protect little fingers from uh, chisels and saws. So uh, anyway, I hope that all works out. I'm going to do one more set out of poplar and, uh, and uh, then kind of close all this out with a little how did they turn out uh, segment. There are the uh, oak uh, bench hooks and here are the ones made of poplar. I haven't taken the clamps off yet, but I will in a minute. I thought I might show you the difference. Uh, earlier I uh, inadvertently referred to bench hooks as bench dogs. Let me show you the difference in bench dogs. Now, those are not bench dogs. Those are dogs on a bench. Now, they're just helping me uh, with tuning up these planes here. Uh, bench dogs are actually right here. And they're used just like a, a bench hook to hold a board. You put a board between here and close the uh, uh, vise down on that. So uh, anyway, thought I would clear that up in case somebody didn't know what a bench dog looks like. And once again, not bench dogs, dogs on a bench. Okay, well, I think this project has, uh, has gotten to a, a finish point. Let me uh, get those clamps off, do a little short thing on how those look and operate, and then we'll close out this video. Okay, so here are the uh, uh, bench hooks made of poplar. And you notice that uh, one nice thing about uh, a pair of bench hooks like this, unlike a, a large bench hook, now there are some people who make these all as one wider board. I like the idea of having them separate because then you can hook them on two ends of a long board like this. Or you can use them uh, like this with a, a short board. And these are the, the uh, ones made of oak. Uh, once again, uh, here are bench dogs and they hold a board by tightening down on it this way. And once again, don't uh, don't confuse the uh, the bench hooks with dogs on a bench or bench dogs. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, maybe I'll do another one in the future. I usually don't do videos for uh, for woodworking projects, but I thought in this case, since I intend these to be used by the little ones, not those little ones. Uh, that maybe I would make a video in case they wanted to uh, see how those uh, bench hooks were made. Have a nice day. See you in another video.